Today we were visited at Hyrel by Anvu from the University of Iowa. He's got some material he would like to print with. It needs to print at about 75 degrees C. This is PLGA. It's used for internal biological prints. It's going to be dosed with growth hormones and nutrients or antibiotics, or whatever they're going to use. So first it comes in a in powder form, a really fine powder. So we're going to invert the tube in our heated emulsion head. Uh, in this case, I'm actually using a volcano tube, but I'm heating it up in the Krakatoa head because I have to get it up kind of warm and now we just made a paper funnel and we're putting the material in we're going to heat this up to about 80 or 90 degrees and get the material to melt and when it's liquid we're going to put the top on and we're going to burp out the air then we're going to come out take the tube out and invert it so it's the right way and then we'll start our print all right so now i'm manually displacing the plunger to burp the air out and then we'll see some material come out the top and i'll know we've gone far enough so now this is primed and ready to go now we're going to cut the power because we don't want to unload the heads while the heat or the the motor is energized so we don't want to arc 12 volt line so i'm going to turn the heat off unload the head i'm going to unclamp the head remove the collar that holds the nozzle on switch it around tighten everything back up and load the head back all right now we're going to set our zero position for the head we're going to purge a little bit of material out to make sure it's flowing right and now we're going to start our print this is a little pyramid it's 10 millimeters on a side it gets about five millimeters high here you can see it printing nicely and now it's done Let's take a look up close and see what this looks like. PLGA, printed on the Hyrel 3D System 30M. The same head works on all of our printers. For more information, look us up at Hyrel3D.com or Hyrel3D.net.